Hello, in this video we're looking at sexual and asexual reproduction, but we're going to look in particular at the advantages and disadvantages of each. So we've talked about the methods by which they work in the last video, and in this one we're just going to look at each one individually to see what the advantages and disadvantages are. So for sexual reproduction, we have variation in the offspring, as we discussed before. And as a result of that variation, it can give a survival advantage by natural selection. Now, what do we exactly mean by that? Well, we can take a look at an example of two plants there of the same species. You can see their features are slightly different. But if they were to reproduce sexually, we would get offspring and there would be variation in those offspring. So we've got a whole bunch of different plants there. Some are thin, some are thicker stems, some have more branches, more leaves, that kind of thing. And we can see that we would end up with a population of individuals that show variation. Now, if there was a change in the environment, for example, a change in the climate to a colder climate, so if the temperature got a lot cooler, because of this variation, you're going to find that some of them are more able to survive than others. So, for example, this one or this one or this one might be more resistant to the cold and therefore are more likely to survive and therefore reproduce. So they survive to reproduce and this is the basic idea behind natural selection. We are going to look at this in a lot of detail later but the idea is that because of that variation in the individuals because of sexual reproduction we are able to have this process of natural selection. Now people have managed to speed up natural selection by using something called selective breeding and that's often used to increase food production. The example we're going to look at now is the idea of sheep producing wool. So you can imagine you've got two sheep um, and they could be crossed or mated and their offspring will show a variety of, for example, the amount of wool they have. So we can have, we can have uh, some that will have a lot of wool, some that will have less and some that might have something in between. But we can selectively breed these. So we would select the two that we would breed together and over a very few generations we would have a large population of sheep that all produced the larger amounts of wool. Now this can also obviously be applied to food production for milk in cows, for meat in or a whole range of different animals but also in plants as well, in vegetables as well. Pretty much everything you eat is selectively bred to have its characteristics that it has, be it colour, size, flavour or all of the above. With asexual reproduction only one parent is needed, so that's an advantage, and because only one parent is needed it's more time and energy efficient because you don't need to find a mate. And it's also a lot faster than sexual reproduction. So we could go back over to sexual reproduction and list a disadvantage in that it's slow compared to asexual reproduction. And why this is an advantage is that uh, species can colonize an area very quickly. So if we had a plant that was introduced to a certain area with lots of resources like nutrients, water, light, that kind of thing, it could very quickly take advantage of those resources by reproducing very fast. The other advantage is that we have identical offspring that can be produced when conditions are favorable. So that links to the idea of being able to colonize an area very rapidly. Now this can actually be a disadvantage as well because all the individuals are clones of each other. They have identical genes so they have identical characteristics. So if we had a change in climate or for example a disease then if it affects one of the individuals in that population it could pretty much affect all of them and that could mean a big drop in population because of one small change in the environment whereas in sexual reproduction variation allows uh, to adapt to those changes. So the disadvantages there are in red and the advantages are listed on both sides of the screen there and that's basically an overview of the advantages and a couple of disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.